elbow freeze. For your elbow freeze, one, you want to make sure you have some pretty good balance, but there's different points that we can use, okay? So you can use your secondary hand to control where you are, okay? You want your hands kind of open, fingers up, spread apart like this to help control the balance. Your hand, you want to be here, not in a fist. You want your palm down towards the ground, okay? The secondary hand here. When you kick up, you want to make sure you tighten up your core, squeeze your legs, and try to find a position to put your legs in so that way they're not just going wherever they want to go, okay? So you want to control, find a position that you want to move your legs, and once you get in and you feel comfortable, you can move them around to different positions. But for the first part, you want to make sure you stick into a certain position that will help you stay. If you relax your legs, they're going to feel more weighty and they're going to go right over. So from here, secondary hand here, you're also turning your hips slightly so that you can balance straight up and down. Another tip, you want to make sure your arm isn't out like this, okay? You want to make sure your elbow is in line with your shoulder. So when you're up, it pushes straight down. All right, so we're here. Elbow, hand, secondary hand, kick up, hold that position. Again, once you feel comfortable, you can switch positions and control. But you wanna get comfortable first. So controlling with that arm. If you feel like you're falling over, falling over this way, push down on your hand. That'll bring your body back. Same thing if you feel like you're going this way, push towards you. All right, so you're using your body to control. So I'll do it a little closer. And you're just controlling.